A local student at St. Rita's School for the Deaf with a passion for music writes and releases a song. Our Jason Maxwell introduces us to him and the friends who have helped to make it possible. What's up? <laughs> with us today. Okay, okay. Uh, so today we are working with my great friend London. He goes to uh, St. Rita, the School for the Deaf. Right now we are basically working on his love for music and we're working on songs. So it's pretty challenging because... He has um, a neurological disorder that affects his speech and his processing. So it can be very hard for him to understand. So he has grown up um, using sign language as his mode of communication out in the hearing world. So for London to be able to sing a song and write a song um, is very, very big dreams and um, high hopes for him. So to be able to do this, he's been very, very excited. We were working together and he heard me kind of like, you know, I'm helping him out and mumbling it, mumbling like the melody. And he's like, hey, won't you do it? So then he kind of turned into a producer himself and a songwriter. So, so he gave me his lyrics and he's like, this is how I want you to say it. releasing his song that he wrote. It has been a lifelong dream of his to become a rapper. And so with the support of staff at St. Rita, he has written this rap song. Exciting. It's exciting. Exciting for me. I exciting for me. I've written it for this. I've written it for this my whole life. It just took a lot of support, a lot of extra hard work, and um, some learning curves along the way to get him to be where he's at today. But he, I'm sure he'll do an excellent job. Okay. Yeah. What's the lyrics? I wrote you a love letter, hope it make you fun. Hey. I can see the pain in your eyes. Hey. I haven't been myself ever since we've been apart. Ever since you left me, girl, you know you broke my heart. Come on, come on. I wrote you a love letter. 